It shouldn't be new for anybody that Ronnie Coleman at the 2003 Mr. Olympia is the single most dominant, the single most invincible bodybuilding physique the history of this beautiful sport has produced. You either have to be a hater of Ronnie or someone else's fanboy to consider otherwise. The only acceptable different view on this I can agree with is if you consider a different version of Ronnie to be superior. But I believe that the sheer size, conditioning and freakness of this version simply make it second to none. And I'm not the only one thinking the same. The majority of fans, content creators, professional bodybuilders and even Ronnie himself would agree that 03 is his hardest to defeat version if you wanna put it like that. So this brings us to today's video. Since no other single individual could challenge this version of Ronnie, and I've seen tens if not hundreds of comparisons in my life, what if multiple individuals would challenge this version of Ronnie? Yes, this will be Ronnie Coleman versus everybody, where for each mandatory pose I will challenge Ronnie with the best in that specific pose from the history of the sport of course, aside from Ronnie, so this will be in a way to see if Ronnie or someone else is the best in each of the 8 mandatory poses. Before we begin, you won't be seeing anyone from before the Mass Monsters era for obvious reasons, I really hope there is no need to explain myself here. Also, I wanna mention that this video was inspired by Mark's Max Muscle, who did a similar one in the past. Front double biceps. Who could challenge Ronnie here? Probably the best match for him would be Flex Wheeler at his best, which is the self-proclaimed 1999 British Grand Prix version. Now, I know, I know, his best was 1993, but he was really too small back then to compete with Dorian let alone with O3 Ronnie, who is 30 pounds heavier than the shadow at relatively the same height. Back to the pose, now it's true that, aside from the arms, Flex kinda beats Ronnie. He's got flawless proportions, a great lower body, but there will always be the enhanced guns issue with his later versions. This could go to Flex, but I'm not convinced. Ronnie's guns are simply unbeatable, or are they? Enter Margot Savolainen. If we're talking about biceps, this guy beats Ronnie, but as we can see, biceps alone cannot even win you the arms overall, as I still believe Ronnie has the overall advantage when we factor in the tricep sweeps, the forearms, and the overall muscle details and separation. As for the rest of the physique, Marco is no match to Ronnie. Ronnie's biggest challenger in this pose can arguably be Andrew Jack. Just like Flex, Andrew has the aesthetics and a great lower body to stand up next to Ronnie. Indeed, his guns are nowhere near a challenge to Ronnie, but what Andrew has over Ronnie is stature. Andrew is a taller and wider bodybuilder than Ronnie, however do I think he beats Ronnie here? I wouldn't be surprised if by today's standards the judges would award Andrew here, but in my opinion Ronnie wins. He's just bigger pound for pound and he simply destroys Andrew in the guns department. So after the first pose, Ronnie scores the first point against everybody else. Front lat spread, Kai Green is probably one of the most underrated bodybuilders when it comes to this pose. He had a world class lower body, a wide structure and incredible lat development that weren't covered by some bulky short arms. He had everything to be world class in this pose except for the stature to go against Ronnie. Don't get me wrong, Kai was a huge bodybuilder, but he was short, thus small in comparison to Ronnie, especially in 2003, and you can tell by this image. So the logical adversary for Ronnie in this one would be Dorian Yates for sure, the king of the front lat spread. Now, I don't want to be blasphemous here, but does Dorian really defeat Ronnie here? Except for the lads where it's not such a big difference, to be honest, does Dorian win anything else here? He would win the calves, but they don't show in this pick. I'm gonna leave this one unanswered because I have someone else who, in my opinion, can defeat Ronnie in this pose. Enter Big Rami with his 2015 Arnold Classic Brazil version. From the front, Rami was at his best at this show. Just look at him. Big Rami is the one bodybuilder who can match Ronnie's size and on top of it, he's wider shoulder to shoulder and has a better V-taper. Both things being crucial in this pose. 
In my opinion, Big Rami defeats Big King Ronnie Coleman here, thus obtaining the first pose for the rest of the world against O3 Ronnie in this comparison. Side chest is next and Kevin Levron looks absolutely fantastic next to Ronnie here. It's like beauty against the beast here with these two and the beast might be too much for Kevin. I mean, it's a toss up but I believe Kevin's biggest advantage here is the angle being opened up more. He looks massive but he's nowhere near as massive and round as Ronnie Coleman here. I know someone who is though Marcus Rule. Marcus had the overall mass and the chest pop to go against Ronnie Coleman, however, he didn't have the thin skin and conditioning. However, there is someone who has the best combination of Kevin's aesthetics and Marcus' overall mass. Yep, it's Big Rami again and he looked perfect in this pose at the finals of the 2018 Mr. Olympia. I don't want to turn this matchup into a Ronnie vs Rami comparison, but Big Rami just scored the second point for the rest of the world against O3 Ronnie Coleman. Maybe a Big Rami all versions against O3. Ronnie is a good future video idea. Like this video and comment below if you wanna see that next on the channel. Now Ronnie is furious but luckily for him next is the back double biceps. Can Derek Lansford challenge Ronnie? Well Derek is really good, he's got one of the best backs ever and it's symmetrical unlike Ronnie's. Derek also has the straighted glutes to answer to Ronnie but let's face it, he's a 212 competitor after all, he could never challenge a monster like Ronnie. The monsters Derek beats nowadays are nowhere near as complete and conditioned as Big Ron, so we need someone of Ronnie's stature. Enter Dorian Yates. Dorian was a wide bodybuilder, even wider than Ronnie but he didn't flare out his lats in the back poses so it doesn't show. Furthermore, when it comes to the actual back, you could argue Dorian has a better one than Ronnie, but factoring in the limbs, I think Ronnie does enough to not lose, plus Ronnie is bigger overall. Now, Phil Heath is a smaller bodybuilder, he's somewhere in between Derek and Dorian, but Phil has the roundness and balance that can put Ronnie in danger here. Granted, Ronnie is still too big to lose, but if Phil had the same height, I think he could have beaten Ronnie here. However, in our case, Ronnie wins and evens the score at 2, 2 in this comparison against everybody. In the back lat spread, Phil has the same issue, he's smaller and he's narrower than Ronnie, but Phil has something that neither Ronnie nor anyone else had, namely those insane details and muscle thickness in the back. Plus, Phil is the only one who can challenge Ronnie when it comes to the lower body definition, especially through the hams, where I believe Phil even defeats Ronnie. It could be argued that Phil is winning, but this still remains a lad spread pose that is primarily about width, so Phil cannot defeat Ronnie. There is only Dorian Yates who can really challenge Ronnie in this pose, and I think he has a good chance to even win. Now, Dorian does not have the glute ham development of the other two, but he's pretty good too. Not to mention that he compensates big time with them calves and upper body. Dorian has the better back here. Ronnie is pretty strong with the traps, but Dorian has the lats. With the arms taken out of the equation here, this can really go to Dorian, and I'm giving this one to Dorian here. Thus, the rest of the world gains a one point advantage against O3 Ronnie, making the score 3 2. Side triceps is next and Ronnie will lose the following two poses, thus the entire comparison as the rest of the world will achieve 5 points out of 8. However, stick around to see the most muscular at the end. Now, I don't want every Ronnie Coleman fanboy to unsubscribe to this channel because I made him lose here. The whole idea of the video was because O3 Ronnie is invincible, that's why we did this. So side triceps. Dorian and Phil could be options again, but we had enough of them already. Jay Cutler deserves a shout out in this comparison, the one who actually had to deal with him in 03. This is Jay in 09, but usually Jay defeated Ronnie every time in this pose. A pose that is quite underrated for the cut above the rest. 
We cannot go past this pose without mentioning the guy who had the best triceps in history, Rolly Winkler. So Ronnie Coleman loses this pose against everybody. The abs and thighs and the best of all time for me in this pose are Hadi Chupan, Andrew Jack and Sean Roden. Every one of these gentlemen would defeat Ronnie in this pose and not only them. This wasn't a strong pose for Ronnie so the score becomes 5-2 for the opposition. Now the most muscular, can anyone defeat the ultimate mass monster in the ultimate mass pose? Let's see who are the contenders. Phil Heath has a strong case, but again he might just be too small or too narrow. Rolly Winkler is basically a wider version of Phil Heath in this pose, but again he was even shorter than Phil so it might not be enough. Michael Crizo deserves a mention for sure. The way he looked last year at the Empro Classic in Spain can definitely challenge Ronnie in this pose. But if you're still not convinced, 2002 Knight of Champions Marcus Rule is the monster who puts this argument to rest. Now again, I don't want every Ronnie Coleman fanboy to unsubscribe to this channel because I made him lose here. The whole idea of the video was because 03 Ronnie is invincible, that's why we did this. And to Ronnie's defense, he only lost the side triceps and the abs and thighs decisively, like usually. It could be argued that, for the rest of the poses he lost, he could still have the upper hand. It was very close in all of them.